Oh, goodness. Okay, so yeah, so welcome to Gulf Coast October. And uh, this jar I got from Pop Shelf for four bucks. And I had to poke some holes in this lid, and I'm going to use this coin to smush down the inside so it's not sharp. Because I'm making a habitat. And I got uh, all the other little things, either from the Dollar Tree. There was something I put in there on my own. I forgot what it was. And I just used the leftover things from the Halloween stuff. Some of it's going into Christmas. Here's some of this mossy stuff. And these little cool stumps. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. I'm a National Geographic, so I could have my beautiful tropical background. And a spray bottle so I could spray down inside so that my little friend that's going to be living in here can have some, you know, water. I think my little friend is a crab spider, but I'm not completely sure. I'm still learning. So I was kind of taking, you know, inspiration from some of the habitats in the mice community, also in the jumping spider community. But also if you see that thing in the background up on my desk, that is this like a uh, fairy garden thing I made one year. I entered it in a fair. I didn't win, but I'm still inspired by it. However, that cannot be uh, a spider habitat. I absolutely love how this color, this green, shines through. So, uh, but this little skull thing, I realize now these are probably all gone, these skull things. But you can use all kinds of stuff. They have the little dressers and they have little dollhouse furniture. If you want to make a spider habitat. Because this time of the year, we end up with bugs in the house. We get spiders in the house. And if you're living in a place like where I live at, they come and they spray and they spray a lot. So, this little spider kept ending up on the kitchen counter. I took her outside, she came back in. And I looked at her and I said, listen, Missy, if you come into this kitchen one more time and I see you again, I'm gonna put you in a jar. And sure enough, a couple of days later, it might've been the next day, come downstairs, there's a note on a napkin and an upside down cup on the counter. I wasn't sure if it was her, I just knew it was spider season. Sure enough, it was Charlotte, we named her Charlotte. And I had her in a pickle jar, but she just, Seems so sweet and so thankful to get these little crickets because we give them to our, our pet rats, right? And she seems to be fine. And now if she sees movement, she feels me, the vibration getting close. She comes out and she says hi. She's a cool little pet. So anyways, I, I just get all these little things and I do what I do when it comes to arts and crafts. I turn on the radio. I feel the music. I think about things I'm going through. I try to use whatever I'm doing in a way to help me, you know, just feel better that day. Uh, so I taped, um, <laughs> changing the subject, I taped that thread to the lid before I started gluing it. And there was glue all over my fingers, but it was helpful because it made it more tacky and I was able to mold it, get everything down the way I wanted it to, and it dried very nicely. Here we are. Here we are. And I'm going to take this little selenite crystal out because the glue finally dried. I kept trying to get this thing to get glued in there. I kept changing my mind, and then, like, too light, can't go now. It's all glued in now. Boop, boop, boop. The reason why I wanted to glue it to the bottom, if something happens and I have to turn it on its side. Oh, my goodness, look, she could have levels. Oh, that's a whole nother idea for a whole nother day, isn't it now? Awesome. Um, but if I have to turn this sideways, it's not going to fall and hurt her. And the most I could find is that it's okay to put them on synthetic flowers. It's like the color and the way the petals are and stuff. I have permission at this one cemetery to pick up the flowers that are in the fence line. And I actually have permission to get them the minute they hit the fence line. But I usually give it a few days and see if people come back for the stuff. And I usually only take the ones that are already kind of faded. Um, but the rule is very strict at that cemetery. If you don't have your stuff saddled down, the lawn people, have the, they throw it away really quick. So sometimes I rescue those flowers. But all cemetery rules are different because where my mom's uh, service was at and everything, you're not even allowed to come get the floral arrangements out of the garbage cans. So you just have to make sure, just ask the groundskeeper what their things are smushed in the, down. Oh, look at that. But you can't see the flower because we are going for aesthetically pleasing as well as for the spider, right? So we want the spider to be happy, but we also want to be able to want to look at it. So there's that. Let's see. And then there's the little wire that he can still jump on and he's got a little... Like, right there. I don't know if you can see her. I think 
we're ready, I think. Um, and Charlotte's awake. She's been moving around a little bit. Um, but I'm not a professional spider handler, and I'm still not completely convinced I know what kind of spider she is. And I'm hoping I can just transfer her like so. What do you think, Charlotte, huh? Well, I don't know if I should feel like a goober or what, but I hopped on YouTube so I could find some background music for this. And the Jumping Spooters page just showed up in my suggestions. It is the coolest page, but she's using this exact same Dollar Tree stuff that I was using for this video. I didn't copy her, I promise, so I'm going to leave the link. She's way smarter at this than I am. She's got holes on the side of the enclosure and everything. So I would go watch that video next. <laughs> Oh, my sweet baby. So this was like, I think the next day before I fed her and before I sprayed her. And she seems very content. She seems thankful for these bright petals. And I know it's not real flowers. Uh, but that was the thing that I added. And I was like, I didn't get this at the Dollar Tree. And then uh, here is a few days. This is two days later is right here. Again, she sees me, feels me coming close. And she comes out. But uh, this one is, I put a cricket in there. And of course it went to the back of the box and before i sprayed it but uh, i hope you like this and i hope that you're not too afraid of spiders yeah